We've got a particularly nasty start of the season, it has to be said, and today we play two of those nasties. Hello there everyone, it is TIJ and welcome to episode 2 of season 2. Season 2? Season 4, the second episode of season 4. I don't know what world I was in there, but welcome to episode 2 of season 4 of Conquering Euro on Foot Manager 2019 Liverpool. And that's about it for the intro. But today we're playing against Zid Zinedine Zidane's Tottenham at Anfield and then we have two weeks of break. And then we play Jose Mourinho's Manchester United as well as Anfield. We'll play Brighton in between. But as you can see, we've only played one game since I have last been with you, which is the Leicester game. But we didn't particularly play awfully well. And uh, it's one of our trademarks away from home. And after that Arsenal game, I have to say, you can forgive me for being a little bit complacent at the start of the season. If you haven't watched that episode yet, I'd definitely go and watch that before you watch this one. But Leicester uh, striked first with Dendonka getting a goal. Then Chilwell scored now own goal pretty much straight away. And it was role reversal for the second goal, funnily enough. Ben Woodburn put us ahead. And then Leicester got a goal straight away. And it was really nip and tuck. Uh, and apart from that, not much happened. But we've got the two games today. The first one against Tottenham, which is on the telly. Then we play Brighton in between. And Manchester United. So two particularly big games for the start of the season. But um, this is our team for the game. We've got Navas in goal. We've Alexander-Arnold, Gomez, Van Dijk and Robertson at the back. Henderson and Fabinho start in the midfield. We've Trinko and Gnabry on the wings. Balotelli and Firmino are then up front. There's a few players rested because they are a little bit tired. And Roberto Firmino... It could be his last game for the club. It's actually a deal in place for uh, Madrid to sign uh, for me. No, it's just a case of confirmation now. I don't want to let him go just yet. I hope to still swing his arm, but I don't really think that's going to happen. So we are, unfortunately... Going to have to get rid of Firmino, which is a bit gutting. But hopefully, after his hat-trick in the first game, Balotelli can follow it up uh, and get another 20 goals this season. But they've got a very good team, a 4-2-3-1. Jadon Sancho, I remember when we played against them last time, he really gives us a lot of trouble. But It should be not the easiest game ever today, but hopefully we should get on with it and win it. It's Van Dijk's 100th appearance, which is quite amazing considering it's all. Oh, we've gone mega fast on the highlights. But it's amazing considering it's the start of his fourth season that it's only his 100th appearance. But if you think about it, in terms of league appearances, there's only 104 games that he'd be... No, 114. So I suppose it's it's fair enough, because he's not going to play every single game. So that's fair enough. Lovely brew this is. I, I keep stopping to drink it because it's that nice. And it's just that right temperature when you know you, you, it's ready to drink. But... Talking about this game, there's not really much temperature to it at all because we're 25 minutes in and apart from that chance that Tottenham had from that early corner, which I must admit I wasn't really watching that closely, there's not been a hell of a lot going on. But that's a lovely inception from Gnabry to Balotelli, but unfortunately, Jade, uh, not Jade and Sanchez, um, Da Vincent Sanchez gets it, but luckily Balotelli plays the role of the interceptor that time and gets it bat, uh, bat back. Uh, but it's very much nip and tuck, very scrappy in the midfield and maybe Tottenham might get a break now. Dali Ali through to Harry Kane, he's still through, Harry Winks through on goal with Navas. And that's shocking. That's really bad from the defenders there. And I said that Kaylor now is would be fine for our defence. And Navas just hasn't been very good, to be honest, so far. I'll be, I'll be completely honest about that. A bit scrappy from our defenders there. Not really too good enough, to be honest. We don't tell the players we demand more from them. Um, but Gomez lost his man ultimately at first. And then completely mucked it up when it comes to getting Harry Wings second time round. But Navas did make that first save. So you can't really blame it on him so much. But um, no, that's not particularly great from us. And we do need to get back into this game fairly sharpish. Unless that could be the end of the game for us. But we're only 1-0 down. It's not the uh, end of the world. We were 1-0 down against Leicester and recovered that for a draw. But for us to be going for the title, which is obviously our aim this year, we need to be getting at least a point from these games. Particularly at home, we don't want to be losing this game. Because for a club like Liverpool, three, uh, four points in the first three games is not the best start. Particularly... But it's half time at Anfield. They've had the better of the game completely so far. So we're going to tell the players, show me something else in the second half. Hopefully we can get something better out of them. The squad might be recovering a bit from the whole Firmino bit. Perhaps it might be the fact that they're not playing awfully well because they know that Firmino's leaving. It seems awfully weird to have gone and battered Arsenal 6-2 and then not had a win since then. I mean, I know we're only playing in our second game since then. But to play so well since then and then all of a sudden, like in this game, just not have the attacking prowess seems bizarre to say the least. But there's still time left. Tottenham have really had their only clear-cut chance and scored it. And hopefully we can get that sort of chance before the game is through. But I'll notice that a few of the players are quite tired already. So we're going to make a few changes. We'll bring Salah on for Trinko, even though he's not the best in terms of his condition, which is a bit annoying. Um, and we're also going to bring off Henderson for Naby Keita. And he can play as a box-to-box. -box. Perfect. And hopefully that should sort it out. We'll put Firmino as a poacher. See if that makes any difference to us. Me he's just gone popped then. That's really weird. Not very nice, that wasn't. But uh, we've got 25 minutes to go. 
And hopefully we can uh, get the two goals needed to win this match. Neither team's actually had a clear-cut chance, which is quite interesting. Hopefully we can get one here and score a lovely cross, though, from Alexander-Arnold. Um, a lovely sweeping cross. But nothing comes of it for us, but it's a chance. We're making the chance at least, and that's the least I expect to see from our players. But Belotti nearly got it there, but he might get it in the end anyway. But some good defending from our players. Good ball out from Navas. I think this will be. Gnabry doesn't get it, but Virgil van Dijk nods it back on Tottenham. Oh, we're just too scrappy. We need to be telling our players to bring it down to the ground before passing it. But that's a good ball from Ali. But Alexander-Arnold intercepts that one. Back to Navas. Back out. Gnabry gets it this time. Can we get the counter-attack going this time? Gnabry perhaps over the top maybe. No, he dribbles himself. Fair enough. Gnabry into the box. Runs for it. Shoots. It's a poor cross. That's greedy. Greedy, greedy, greedy. A poor shot from uh, Gnabry. And that was just greedy from him there. He really had, really had a good chance. And in effect, he did spoil it in the end, which is a bit of a shame. But we still have got time to get back into his but. Uh, Knowing that we're one down, that's a bit disappointing. But we've been mugged there. And Ericsson with a brilliant shot. And Navas actually has to only parry it. A bit disappointing he couldn't pick that one up. Um, I will put the light on for the second game. Because I've noticed that it's only four o'clock and the, the, the bloody light's going. How possibly um, can we be in December? Absolutely bonkers, that is. 20 minutes to go. Tottenham might well get a second goal here. Ericsson into the box for a Morales. It's in. Deary, deary me. Tottenham apparently out of sight now. I don't know what to say. After our first game against Arsenal, we won it 6-2. How on earth can we slump this low after two games? I I hate those sort of games to start with. Oh, yeah, we're doing really well. And all of a sudden, no, it's not really. It's just fake hope, false hope. Gnabry. We can still get back into it. Gnabry with the shot. Balotelli back to him. Oh, my God. I know Balotelli was offside, but how have we missed both of those? I mean, I haven't put my arm in the head to say, get in, we scored. Because I thought it was a goal, but clearly not. Gnabry back to Fabinho. Fabinho, good ball to Robertson. Good uh, vision there from him. Good ball into the box of Salah. Salah can't even bring it down. It goes off the blooming post. Oh, this is horrible to watch. I don't think we're going to do it. We're going to bring Woodburn on for Firmino. Um, see how he can get on. He's all right as a poach, but we're going to put him as a complete forward instead. But that's gutting for us, really, there. We're going to get very attacking, especially if we do score now. No, but we aren't going to score. That's because... I've accidentally clicked on a few minutes earlier. Ericsson into the box. This could well be the end of the game completely. Ali with a shot and it's in. Oh, boy. Own goal for Robertson. It's 3-0 to Spurs. Wow. Well, we're not offering anything up front. And we're being a bit rubbish at the back. That's not the best way to start this episode. Really not. I didn't expect it to be this bad. It might well just show that... The Arsenal game was a complete fluke. But a good ball from Gnabry to Woodburn. Can we get something back? We can. Woodburn gets one's back. Uh, one's back. Gets one back. We're going to tell the players to show some passion. Hopefully that will get them to get one goal. And if we can get one goal in the next three minute, uh, few minutes, it's possible we can get back into the game. But I doubt it now. But at least Tottenham don't walk home with everything. At least they don't walk home with a clean sheet. Um, and I'm more than happy with that. But seven minutes to go. Um, that's now four minutes. Can we get one more goal? Because a 3-2 doesn't look that bad. Saying that, if they score here, it could be a 4-1, which looks equally as bad. Which looks, in fact, far worse than a 3-1. Zadibe to Winks. Ericsson, it's not looking good, is it? Morales, what are you doing, Robertson? Really had a bad game today as Andy Robertson. Morales into the box of Zadibe. Come on, number three should be getting that. Ericsson to Kane. I've been here four years and I don't know what number three is. Alexander-Arnold, brilliant stuff from Alexander-Arnold. Puts it up to one of our players, but Salah can't get there. It just seems like a little bit of a lack of passion. The players know they've lost... Um, they're not really putting too much into it. It's a bit of a disappointment, to be honest. Deli Alley to Ericsson. Ericsson still on the ball. Good stuff from Salah to get it back. But can we turn it into anything? Oh, this could be a goal. Oh, it's so close. Stupid stuff from Salah there. And it's straight back to Tottenham. But lovely stuff from uh, Case to get it back. Woodburn, can he get his second one of the match? Woodburn in the box. Shoot, it's in. A up. We've got three minutes left. We can get back into this. Um, this is an interesting development. Hmm... Three minutes left on the clock. Last night we did it in real life. Liverpool did. We scored one. We basically the last gank kick of the game. Uh, courtesy of Origi. But good stuff from Woodburn. Can we get the uh, the other goal we need? Ericsson into the box. This could be it there. Regani, Van Dijk, Kane. Oh, it's still there. Kane still blind. We've got it out. That's crazy. Ali, can we get the ball? Can we nick the ball off them for a counter attack? Sadibi. Sadibi still in the box. Good save from Navas. Can we get it out of world up at the end of the highlight? If it's the end of the highlight, that's definitely it. Yeah. That's the end of the highlights, unless this goes amazingly, which it might still do. You never know, it's not... No, but Gnabry was offside, which I suppose means that we've got to call it in day in terms of our chance in this match. 
But to be fair, we clawed it back to 3-2. It we weren't too bad, but not to be too bad in the last 10 minutes really shouldn't be um, our aim. We should be aiming to be good in all of the game. And hopefully, by the time we face Man United in a fortnight's time, the squad will be a lot better and a lot more hungry to beat Man United. Going into this North West derby, we were a squad in real turmoil. Four points in the first four matches. And as you can see, the game in between, we lost against Brighton away from home. It was a disaster. They were freeing up, basically. Or Henderson got one back, but it was a typical case, again, like the one against Tottenham, where we played for the last 10 minutes. And I think the problem is, is that the squad have been massively affected by the departure of Roberto Firmino, which means I have got to replace his picture on that side of the conquered Euro. But I'll do that after today's episode. But Firmino's gone to Real Madrid, 91 million. He was desperate to leave and just kept nagging me and nagging me. And I thought, you know what, he's going to leave. But it's had, a, it's had a massive effect on the squad. It's a poor dressing room atmosphere. Um, but it's not really the only reason that we're losing. We're just playing poorly at the end of the day. So we've got a new tactic, um, a north, new formation, some new instructions. And hopefully we'll win today's game against United, which will give us a big propeller um, to make sure that we can do well going into this one of easier matches, I think you can say. But as you can see, in the Champions League, We've had a really tough draw, Leipzig, Marseille and Valencia. So, three very good teams and three equal teams, I think, there. But for today's game against United, we've gone with a 4-5-1. We've gone completely different just to see how we get on. Uh, we've got Lafont in goal. He's replacing Navas because Navas hasn't had the best starts with Liverpool career. The Alexander Arnold, Mamana, Goma, uh, sorry, Van Dijk and Robertson start at the back with Fabinho, Keita and Henderson making a midfield free. Salah and Gnabry start as usual on the wings with Balotelli up front. Obviously, Balotelli's going to be our main striker now. With Firmino leaving the club. We do need to sign a new striker in January. But hopefully Balotelli, uh, Woodburn and Guerra will do it between them. Particularly as well if we're only playing one striker and today goes well. But they're playing a similar formation to us. It's going to be a little bit different. But some frightening names on there in terms of Mario Riccardi and uh, Marcus Rashford. But we're just going to tell the lads it's time to put an end to this form. And I think that's exactly what we need to do. It's a new formation and hopefully it will work out for us. And... It needs to, really, because if we're going to go for the title this year, we're not going to do the Invincibles. We're certain of that already after losing the third game of the season. But for us to win this title, we've got to be winning games. And that basically, that we've got to snap out of bad runs nice and quickly. And United haven't had the best start to the season. They've had, what, seven points from four. So not had the, they've not had the perfect start to the season, but they've certainly had a much better start than we have. But that can, of course, be rectified. They can lose three points today. Well, I hope they do lose three points today, and I hope we get the win. But we put some nice pressure on them early on, but it looks like they're going to come out quite well. Uh, Zivkovic is on the ball, but Keita gets it back. A poor pass from them, and hopefully Keita can take this to his advantage. A good header from Balotelli, to be fair, from that position. And it nearly locked um, De Gea a bit worried. It's all right, my uh, iPad's just gone off, but uh, no. It's all right, nothing urgent. Icardi on the ball. He's going against the defenders. Party on the ball. Who on earth is party? We're having a party, clearly. Party. Never heard of him before, but good stuff. It, it, it seems that we're defending a little bit narrower. That's a narr narrier? narrower. Um, that's what we've asked the players to do, and it seems that actually it means that the players can get a bit tighter on the attackers, and that will work for us. But we're 20 minutes in. We're very much down on possession, which isn't fantastic. We've got passing on slightly more direct. Um, we're going to work the ball into the box. Make sure we do that. And be a bit more dis uh, No, we are going to be a bit more expressive. Uh, a bit wider on the attack. Again, it's an experimental tactic, so it's not going to work entirely. But we've had less possession, but it seems that it hasn't worked out awfully for us. It's clearly not worked out awfully, because Virgil van Dijk has got the lead from that corner. That is a beautiful goal, and we're one to look for the first time in a long while. And we're actually pressed for time now, in terms of me. But don't worry about that. I won't be rushing this, of course. But that's because I'm going to be doing a live stream in the next 20 minutes. I've started a stream save over on Twitch yes, last night while I'm straight out talking, but on... Sunday nights as this comes out, it's two days ago, and I started it with Stoke, thought, you know what, let's go for a stream, um, try something a bit different, and I got the bandwidth settings right, so we didn't have many drop frames, and I have to say, it went really well, so I'm going to be doing another stream tonight, and I'm going to make a regular schedule of streaming on a, a Sunday night for two hours, possibly two and a half hours, a long stream on a Sunday night, followed by a little chill stream on a Monday evening for an hour of between six um, and seven slash seven fifteen. We have a little bit of music beforehand, um, and the people that were there last night really commented on how good it was. Had to have a good relax. So, if you want to tune into that, I'll leave my link to my Twitch down in the description. Um, but if you do ask, if it's not there, ask for it in the comments. But what a way to start the second half. We're two 0 up now against United. It was a weird start to the second half. Thought mm, this is odd. There being a highlight straight after the start of the second half, but it seems to have worked for us. A lovely ball from Amana to Sarah on the wing. 
And Salah, with that bit of expressiveness, uh, runs on the ball. And Gnabry just finds the space in the box. The Manchester United defenders a little bit asleep there. And we're 2-0 ahead. And this seems like we're a genius because we're just getting this bad form and just sweeping it under the carpet. It, it does worry me that United might well get a goal now. But Alexander Arnold on the ball to Henderson. If we can get a third, we can do what other teams have done to us and just finish the game off. And Kate's got loads of space. Um, and we are playing really well with some good expressiveness. It seems having that free in the midfield, Kata plays a more advanced player that he can really express himself. And that's exactly what we want to do. We don't necessarily need to play Gag and Press. At the end of the day, Gag and Press is what Klopp plays, not necessarily what, what we need to play. It's come a bit like the Liverpool um, system in the last few years. But we are playing a fluid counter attack today, and that seems to be working at the moment. And if it does work, I'm certainly not bothered about the fact that we have to use a Gag and Press, supposedly. Um, but a decent save by Lafont there. Apparently that was brilliant by United. But they've got half an hour left to get two goals. I'm quite confident now. I shouldn't be too confident. But I am confident that we've less possession. It seems our pass completion rate has been good. Apart from that pass it seems there. But the players are seeming to be been putting a shift in. I put a training regime on called the clean slate this week. It just trains a new tactical approach. Which is what we've gone for. And it seems the players like it. They've moaned a bit saying that the dressing room atmosphere is rubbish. And they want to change tactic. So that's exactly what we've done today. And a win against Manchester United would just say to the players, look, we've tried and you put a good performance into thumbs up to you guys. Uh, and that's three points for us. But a bad pass again from United and Keita um, is the benefactor of that. But Gnabry, a lovely ball from number three, Fabinho to Gnabry. And Gnabry nearly gets it through to Balotelli. Not really had much of the ball today, Balotelli, but Salah on the edge of the box. Salah's going to go for the shot. He's going to be greedy. And he could have perhaps squared that to Balotelli. But no um, real issue with that. If we'd have been behind, I'd be a bit disgruntled by that. But today... That's okay. 20 minutes left though. Lalani will notice on the bench because we haven't got any players who are really match fit. You've got, it's quite weird. We've got a lot of players that are match fit that have played and then the other ones just aren't match fit at all. So we're going to replace Henderson with Lalani. I know he's not particularly loving playing there. Um, but we're going to make it a triple substitution and we'll also take Trent Alexander-Arnold off as well. We'll play Lafont as a bit of a sweeper keeper. Um, and just put, well, we can put Trent Cowan in attack in formation. It's not going to hurt. If we then go back to counter-attacking, just tell the players to tighten up and finish off the game. If we can beat United 2-0 here, it's a big it's a big um, alleviator of worry, really, for me. Because my biggest worry that, oh, God, United are going to go and smash us. And it could be four points from five. And suddenly, seven points from five looks a lot better than four. It's a real psychological thing, but it does. It looks a hell of a lot better than four points. It's not over yet. United could go and get two. I hope they don't get one here. Alexis Sanchez, back to Luke Shaw. This is good defending from us. I'll say that and they'll go and concede now. But a good save from Lafont. From that party header. Um, this actually puts up in third place. Not that we'll be there for long, I don't think. But a lot of teams haven't started very well, to be honest. It's no one really, Apart from Tottenham, no one's got a perfect record. So that's interesting. Um, but it's still turning to us at this stage. Lovely ball from Lalana to Trinkau. Will he be greedy? Will he? Will he Trinkau? No, that's shocking from Trinkau. But to be fair, it was a tackle from Mbappé, which might have put him off. But it seems that nobody wants to square it to Balotelli. He's getting all the right positions. I do have a, I do have a spot, soft spot, of course, with Mario Balotelli. Who couldn't after he scored 20, 25 goals for us last year? Um, but he's not quite cutting the mustard today. He hasn't done so for the last few matches. But luckily, Van Dijk and Gnabry have scored the two goals today, which mean that I think, fingers crossed, hopefully not jinxing it, that we've won today's game. Good uh, shot from Salah and De Gea. Turns the ball behind and we've really dominated and it's brilliant to see that we're going to win this game. Uh, a complete, well, a complete opposite to the game we played against Tottenham. And it's brilliant to see us be good for 90 minutes. Again, good at the back. The two defenders covering the attack that they've got up. But we've got one minute left and that should be it for today's tie against United. You could say that United didn't play very well and we've got a full sense of security. A little bit like when we played against Arsenal. But it seems this tactic does work. We've got an international break and we go into that international break with the win. And we have, you know, six or seven easier games after this. And hopefully we can go on a good run and then play Chelsea in our next big match, which will be the next episode, which will be a good episode, hopefully again for us. But if you have enjoyed that, folks, make sure to leave a like. It's the last time that Firmino's ever up there. So, you know, reminisce, pause the video, cry if you want. I won't be. I'm not that bothered, really. But if you do want to cry and you get emotional, absolutely fair enough. Leave a like though if you enjoyed, comment down below and subscribe as well. And make sure to go out and check out the Twitch streams if that's something you're interested in. But if not, thank you very much for watching. Click on any of the elements on the end screen um, to look at anything else on the channel, I suppose. But apart from that, folks, that's it for now. And I'll see you guys the next time. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.